Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for your co-main event of the evening. Five three-minute rounds for the interim light heavyweight championship of the world. Mohammed Amin and Tariq Kababez. Here is Tariq, the tank, Kababez. He's blocking these punches with his face. The tank is back. Coming for you. Push. Ladies and gentlemen, Mohammed Ami. If they give me somebody in the top five, I will be them. I said it two years ago. I manifested. Look at me now. Oh. Right, right hand down the middle. Oh, yeah. And down I goes go. I give everything in this. That's my style. Kill be killed. Mohammed Ami business. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a true mixed martial artist with a knack for knockouts. As a professional, 29 wins with just four losses, 16 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet three inches tall, 1.93 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 192 pounds, 94.8 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco and rank number four in the Glory World Rankings, here is Mohamed Momin Ami. Now here's his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a former tournament champion coming off a second round TKO at Glory 84. His professional record, 48 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and 27 career knockouts. He stands six feet even, 1.84 meters, and he weighed in at 192.1 pounds, 94.9 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco and ranked number two in the Glory World Rankings, here is Tarek the Tank. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee, Yusuf Haknik. Okay, fighters, you know the rules. I want to clear the fair fight. Obey my commands at all time or protect yourself at all time, okay? Okay, touch gloves. Touch. All right. Bad blood between Kababez and Amin. Morocco versus Morocco. Fight! Five rounds for the interim. Light heavyweight championship of the world. Tariq Kababez in the white gloves, Amin in the black. Amin very sharp with his outside boxing. Good with those calf kicks as well. You know, you talked about Visa moving up and wait. He looks the same size as these guys. Oh, yeah. I think Visa could, that's what I mentioned earlier, I think Visa will eventually go fight light heavyweight as well. We've seen Alex Pereira do it, and I know that's one of his goals to help beat Alex Pereira's kickboxing career. Good knee there from Amin. Yep, the tank, he knows the tank's going to pressure. Southpaw from the tank. <laughs> A lot of confidence in Amin's punches and counterattacking. Sharp, powerful. Ooh, Ooh good left hand from Amin. Yeah, it's snappy. Yeah, he put Michael Duke down in his first glory fight. Yeah, the tank's going to really have to work his way inside. Once he gets inside, he's going to have to mix the body, chop the legs. A couple good body shots from Tank. Amin going to the head. Yeah, if I'm Kebab, is that you got to be careful opening up in the center of the ring. Because that's where Mohammed Amin's most dangerous. This is where you have to unload when he's against the ropes. Talk about someone that's scary. When Tank sits down and throws the big combinations, five, six punches, it's scary stuff. Oh, yeah, he just commits to head body, head punch combinations. Big heavy hooks, hard low kicks. But Mohammed Amin making it difficult for him to sit and throw anything. 
Normally you see a faster start from Kababez, but he realizes this is a five-rounder. Good knee from Ami. Kababez southpaw. Interesting. Break, step back. Los, los. Fight! Again, Amin trying to kick the leg out from underneath Tank. Yeah, which is very legal. Hit the calf. You're kicking the leg out, not sweeping it, but nice angled right hand from Amin. Yeah, Amin content just landing those single shots where you can tell Kababez wants to get in there and throw a combination. Yeah, Amin's just sharp. When he hits you, though, it's laser point like that. That was just missed. Yeah. When they land, even that jab, it's damaging. Side low kick. Stop. Let's take a look at our fighter profile. Yeah, you know he is nicknamed the tank. Says he tries to throw like Mike Tyson. I believe he had the Tyson 2.0 coffee shop label on his shirt as he came down. He's sponsored by Mike Tyson. That's a good fit. And a former firefighter as well. Yeah, when I first saw him, I called him a Mike Tyson with low kicks. Just aggressive style. Mohammed Amin, signature strike to left hook, but all of his straight punches are really nasty too. He collects anime and Pokemon cards. Not into those. <laughs> No, you were gonna ask about it. Those cars are worth a lot of money these days, so he might be laughing at us. Good opening round for Amin. We'll see what the judges have to say in just a minute. Yep, the Bob is now back to orthodox. Kabab is yeah, all five judges scoring that for Amin. Kababez said he was devastated on Monday when he learned he wouldn't be fighting for the title. He said, I'm a broken man, and I was in no condition to fight tonight. But once your friend calls you out on social media and everyone starts blasting you for not taking the fight, you're kind of forced into it. Yeah, he felt forced. He felt but good body rips on the inside. And it's funny, they're playing with their stances. You see Kababez go southpaw, and then Amin go southpaw for a moment. They're definitely having some fun playing with their stances. Ooh. Sat down on that body shot. Yeah, if the tank goes body, then to the head, that's where it gets dangerous. But you can't be a standing target for the tank to unload. Of course, Tank, a former heavyweight, dropped the pounds, and now he's fighting a light heavy, which seems like a much more natural weight class for him. Said his mom hated the fact that he lost all that weight, though. She said, you don't look like my son anymore. You're too skinny. <laughs> you got to wonder about Amin's conditioning, Joe. Kababez has been training for five rounds for over a month. Amin wasn't training at all. And they just exchanged hard shots, but Amin definitely slowing down, or it's Kababez picking up. And Amin still got dangerous counters. He's not as slick with his movement this time, but he's coming after you with his hands. Fight! Every time the tank rips the body, Amin throws upstairs. Trying to counter those body shots with his own head punches and hooks. One, two from Amin. Both angling there from the tank. Yeah, both fighters already with their mouths open. I'm liking those low kicks from the tank, using his inside punches to set them up. Already getting a little fatigued, a little sloppy. I wonder what the fifth round is going to look like if we make it that far. Oh, I like that angle and attack from tank. Well done, changing angles, mixing levels. 
leg. Step back. Must. Good close to the round for Tank. Oh, nice moment for Tank here to end the round. Yeah, the Tank for sure got that round in my books. I've been wrong a couple times tonight, so. I don't think you're going to be wrong on that one. GloryShop.com, your destination for all the latest Glory merchandising, including signed event posters and the latest sweats, shirts, hats, and more. Visit GloryShop.com. Look at that. We are loaded with Croatians here in Amsterdam, or here in Rotterdam, rather. Mario Mandzukic, I believe, Croatian legend. Croatia tomorrow plays Spain in the UEFA Nation League's final. Yeah, it is Mario Mandzukic, football legend. Hey, Joe, by the way, what happened to your Italy? Spain beat them in the semifinals. I know, I was said about that. Thanks for reminding me. I was hoping Italy would have been in the finals. Maybe would have stayed an extra day. Well, Muhammad Amin went back to his corner and looked gassed. Let's see if Tank, who won that round across the board, can do some real damage here in the third. Ooh, nice knee from Amin. Nice job there, kicking out the leg. Really switching stances a lot. Nice rip to the body to go upstairs, back to that leg from Kababas. Love that style of combination for him. Oh, that one had to hurt. Left hand right to the liver, and he drops the right hand, Joe. <laughs> yeah, that body work starting to add up as sweat hits us at the table. Here's the tank style. I mean, doesn't have the energy to move now and angle and stay on the outside. He's forced to fight here. He's forced to fight in the mid-range. Well, Mean very confident in his skills. Maybe he thinks, you know what? Breaks I can win a shootout with this guy. He does have a 58% knockout ratio, 16 KOs in his 29 wins. Tank is used to being hit by guys like Antonio Plaza. Bot. So I'm sure light heavyweights feel nothing for him. As he starts to gain momentum here with his combinations. Yeah, I mean, just fatigued right now. And Tank having the right footwork by angling, mixing his uppercuts, ripping the body. Just now he's put that nice little strategy here. Oh, another good shot to the body. Those have to be taking their toll on Amin. That one got it right on the temple. A stagger step. Yeah, I think Tank's got to go to that left hook to the liver again. Maybe use his feints to get in. Only that little stance switch. That's the Mike Tyson. One of Mike Tyson's favorite moves on the inside. Just dig into the body. Say what you will about Amin, but he has taken some hellacious punishment downstairs. But I love this style. Hey, I'm going to put my back against the ropes, and I'm going to start swinging. He's still swinging. He's not moving, but he'll fight from here, looking for openings. But can the tank get a finish from here? That's the question. Nice uppercut. Oh! Amin. Yeah, I think Amin's going to get... If he survives this... Yeah, he threw his mouth guard out. I think he's done. Yeah, his foot is up. Water, water, water. Yeah, he spit it out. There's Milano in his corner in no hurry to get the bucket up there to the ref. That should be a warning. He was almost out against the corner of the ropes. Oh, those hard digs to the body from the tank. And that's it for the round, and Kebab has wanted to keep throwing. Yeah. I mean, showing the signs of a defeated fighter. Joe, if you're this gassed, what are you telling your fighter to do? Well, there's not much you can do. I think at this point, it's more of motivation. Try to get him to dig deep. 
try to find something that motivates him. Because no matter what technical advice you're given at this point, there's not much. And the tank's just picking his shots beautifully now, ripping that body very well, angling outside, switching stances, attacking with his low kicks. But just very good at digging the body, finding those angles. And you can see he used the body to set up that uppercut. Well, Big Mike is the master motivator. If he can't get you pumped up, no one can. Let's see what Amin has left with two rounds to go. I busy him on Time. Fight. Yeah, even the referee pushing Amin back here, he stumbled backwards. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Amin survives this round the way the tank ended it. Because at some point now, Tank's throwing, and Amin doesn't even have the energy to get his hands back. Strikes landed by round. The third was a big one for Kababes. Almost went down, but not quite. The referee taking a good look at Amin. Oh, that dick to the body. I was waiting for it. This is just target practice. How is Amin still standing from all these? He's just sitting here waiting to counter. That's all he can do at this point, but the Bridge tank just waiting back. for that moment to rip the body. From the tank, one good combination, body-body-head combination. Oh, downstairs again, that body He's not shot. down. No standing eights. Just taking a beating in the corner is Amin. He's just waiting to be put out of his misery and he'll go to the ground. Mouthpiece is out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, step forward. Step number two, step number two. Step number arma. Time. Water, 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 water. How many more? Uh, Twenty kid, last kid. So Amin's probably thinking right now, how do I get out of this fight without taking much more damage? Yeah, he just gave the tank a smile. He knows he's going out. But he'll go out swinging. I like that mentality in a fighter. Downstairs again. Oh, he put him out of his misery there. A wind-up uppercut. They're playing the music like it's over. They're calling it over. Tariq Kababes with a knockout finish as he becomes the interim light heavyweight champion. I'm sure a lot of motion from the tank and you can see him letting it all out. From thinking he's fighting a Baina to fight canceled to finding out he's fighting his friend. That's what happens, let that emotion out, tank. And it was conditioning in the end that was the biggest part of this victory for Tariq. He was in fantastic shape and it showed. Oh yeah, and the way that first round a little slow, he was patient because he knew how dangerous Mohammed Amin was. But once he got confident and got his way onto the inside, those combos and body rips were nasty. So Tank gets his revenge and we'll see if these guys hug it out at the end. And let's watch our highlights and see how this built up to the finish in the fourth. Yeah, great start from Amin, kind of using his boxing nice and long shape, but the tank does what the tank does, come forward, aggressive with his combination. In the second round, continue to put that forward pressure, mix in levels, some hard body rips, some low kicks, hitting the, the legs. He just continued to find different openings on the inside from hooks to the body, to the head, uppercuts. And by the end, Mohammed Amin just sat in the corner trying to throw counter shots while the tank just picked him apart until this fourth round where he was able to get the finish. But all set up from that aggression, ripping up the body. And then you can see he doesn't want anything more of the tank with that aggressive style. And he wouldn't stop. And this was the finishing sequence there. Boom, puts Amin out. Uppercut with the right hand at the end. And that was all she wrote, right? There, a free shot, and man, 
Amin could take some punishment, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, the way he took those shots went down, but boom, the nail in the coffin right there. To last as long as he did was impressive, but there was no doubt who was winning this fight. Tariq Tank Kababes. Strikes thrown per minute. The first round, a good one for Amin, but after that, it was pretty much all Tariq. Tim Hughes makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout goes in the books with an official time of two minutes and two seconds of that fourth round and ends by knockout for your winner and new interim light heavyweight champion of the world, Tech Kabobin. Once again, delivering the belt, our co-founders, Scott Rutman and head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. All right, I'm here with your winner and a very emotional Tariq Kebabes. Take me through as this waist is put around your, your waist here. Hey, I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it was this week, emotional week for me. Uh, it's always emotional with the glory. Always my fighters don't come in to fight to me. Glory cannot, cannot do anything on. But I have always the same problem. I know there was a lot of emotion with Donaghy Abena backing out, now fighting Mo Amin. How was that for you mentally? Mentally, I swear, of God, that was I was able to stop. I tried to Mike, like, I stop it. I finished. It is not the first time, not the third time. It's always since my glow debut. As I fight with Rico, then Levi Rechters, then uh, I don't know. It's always my best, but Glory do, do always the best. And she's coming with a uh, with good, uh, good fighter to fight me always. Because it's not, per, not personal to Glory, but the fighters are fuckers. All right, well, this belt here gets you another shot at Donaghy Abena. What do you have to say for him backing out in your future fight? No, this is my world champion, Tito. I should not world champion. I have now to fight me to win my belt. I don't want the belt. This is for me, a world champion. All right, Donna Giabena watching, you heard it. Let's hear for your new interim light heavyweight champion of the world, the Tank Kababes. Mike Tyson would be proud of some of the body work that Tariq Kababes displayed here tonight, fighting out of Morocco, the 30-year-old. You heard him saying, this is the real, real belt. Donaghy Abena has to come and beat me now. I don't need to beat him.